Today I'll be making a tutorial video on how to replace the armature on your Minkota bow mount trolling motor. I'm going to swap it out because I was out on the water just recently and the boat was not moving quick. I wasn't getting all, all pounds of thrust that this motor should be because this is the maximum 70. The reason I'm uh, replacing mine is because uh, I think from hitting rocks and grounding out so many times, the armature shaft finally uh, warped out or bent a little bit and it's not on. If you listen to this on the motor, I'll press the, the foot switch. Listen to how loud it is. You can hear it. There's a there's a scrape there. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the nut off and that size nut is a half, half ounce socket. So I'm going to take it off here. But uh, right here I'm looking at this and even when I, let me run it. You hear that? That shouldn't be making that noise, especially with that prop off. And I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Here, let's, let's get the camera clo up closer and let's just see if you can actually see it spinning weird. But look at that, watch. I'll press the button. And see how it kind of goes up, up and down a little bit. So to take these bolts off, it's just a size 8 socket. So you just... Since I started loosening them all the way, I'll just finish the rest off with this power drill to be easier. Just take this off. And as you can see, it's a really long, long screw. Wow. That's really, that doesn't look good. That smells kind of burnt, like there's some some really, some rubbing going on in there. So I can smell it, it smells really burnt. Well, the wires look good in there, that's a good sign. I don't know if you can see this, but wow, that is melted, y'all. Look, this 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 part right here that you're looking at. Let's go like this. See this? It goes back like that. That's supposed to go back onto the shaft of that piece right here. For that. And that pretty bearing still good. See right here? It, it rubs on that. Look at this piece. It's not even con contacting. The housing is so melted. I'm gonna have to order more pieces. More parts, that's for sure. Good thing the wire didn't melt all the way through. The wires still look pretty good. I'm not sure what this back piece is, but we gotta take that off and that takes a, a T20, a torque bit, 20, size 20, to take that off. So we'll pull this piece out. This just sits in there. Make sure when you're doing all this, like I have the I have the ground disconnected on my batteries in the back. You don't want to be electrocuting yourself. You never know if something goes wrong when shit's getting catching on catching fire. But it is pretty dirty in there because of this piece. So I'll need to swap this out. And it looks like these are just connected to with some push. They're just connected with those, which is nice. So I guess I'll need this piece as well. So, you know, I thought it was just the armature that was uh, going to be needing to be replaced, but after taking it all apart and upon my inspection of everything, this was obviously was slightly warped a little bit, so I had, to, I had this whole assembly right here, which is just the armature. But like I was showing you in the video earlier, I didn't have much light at that point, but I ordered a back, a back plate. This, has whole be, this whole thing has to be replaced because it's plastic, and this is all melted where the brush these things should be like this and see this one's not so I had to buy I had to order new this brush assembly thing here and new springs the spring loads it and it that which rides on top of here alright so I just got my package today of the replacement parts for uh, the lower unit of the trolling motor so uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside 
and see all the stuff that I all the stuff I got. So this is the new armature. Where I was the armature had a bent shaft, and when I took the when I took the lower unit apart, I upon inspection I found a bunch of other things that were wrong with it. So well, I can't honestly say a bunch of things, but I found a few things. So here's the new one, and uh, what's the deal with all the little nicks and that? I wonder if that'll even make a difference. Probably not. But the new ones all come with its own wheel bearing. Comes with a I forgot what this is called, but I'm glad that's on there, so I don't have to deal with that. But uh, this is the new one, and if I come back and show you the the older one, see, so just even look at the connection right there look how black that is from how charred it was it was cat look see how black it is in there that, all that was uh burning up inside the motor so glad I, I i noticed that but uh good thing this looks still good because actually it looks really good still it's a little dusty from this being charred, but the, the assembly itself is still good. It's not, that shouldn't need to be replaced. Because inside this little packet here, when I ordered the stuff online, it said two pieces. It said one thing was two pieces, but obviously it's not. See, so I got a brand new brush plate, which is cool. I ordered, I thought it had, I ordered... When I, when I ordered the springs, the tensioner springs here, it said it's a two-piece. But I'm looking inside this bag here, and I'm only seeing one. One piece, right there. Which, uh, I'm not exactly sure why it's only one piece, but I got a new pin. That was, see, if you look at the old pin... Look how bent this pin is. See, compared to look, the pin is supposed to be perfectly straight. So this one's all bent out. But uh, see, I only have one spring and one brush assembly. Luckily, this brush assembly looks good still, and this spring is still good, so I can utilize those two pieces because it only came with one each, which on their stupid-ass website, it said it came with two. Doesn't make sense why they're only sending one. I just put the new, I just put the new seal in the two new seals. The there's a back seal and then there's a seal. There's a seal with a with this metal shield here. That the bottom shield was hard to get out because it was so far in there, and uh, I was tearing it up trying to pull it out. But uh, I found a little trick. I put a just a little Allen wrench, a th pretty thick one on the end of vice grips and I put it underneath there was able to stick it underneath the other gasket and pull it out took a little bit of muscle there but uh, I got it out and I got the new one in so this part's done so on to the next step but you see how these things have those are gonna lock in on this right here and if you look at the old assembly this thing doesn't even move it's the melted the, the back plate is all melted so this parts done so now I guess I got all I gotta do is put this all together add the gaskets and we'll see if we can get this motor running Don't want to tighten it too much. I don't know if there's a specific torque, but I'll just tighten it because it's aluminum. I don't want to strip it. I'll just do it tight until it gets pretty tight. That's pretty tight. So I got that in. You can see that's where the armature is going to sit in.
just popped it right down. See? Let gravity be your friend. I'm pretty sure that's in. I doubt that moved out. So let's straighten this out, put it right in the, the middle there. Got to be really careful when you're sticking this in here if you're going to, because the problem is that this will shoot in like a damn bullet. It could smash your finger, even chop a finger off, who knows. Yep. Looks pretty straight. Got to line that up because when you put this back there, this has to be lined up as well. Hopefully we got it all lined up this time. Let's see, goes all the way tap down it. it. Feels like it. Definitely feels like it's in there. No, oh, it's in. And this is all lined up, so we know that's straight. So just screw those down. Make sure you got all your your front gasket in, your O-ring for your back plate, and your O-rings for uh, your bolts. And you just screw it, tighten it back up. There's a recommended uh, torque setting for these, and the, the screw bolts are just going to take a, a size 8 socket wrench. So now you gotta connect your battery, your your bow battery back up. So let me come back here to the back of the boat and well, it's definitely working. I don't know if you heard that. Sounds like. Let me put, so let me put the, the prop on. You can just hear it. It's, it sounds smoother and you can really feel like it really rotating now, which is awesome. So there you go. That's how to replace the armature and anything else inside the lower unit of your Minn Kota bow mount. Now if, uh, Basically what I did, you could do it with any of the bow mounts for your trolling motor and probably most likely I need the hand control tro transom mounts, uh, trolling motors as well. You know, they're all basically the same internals, just you got to get the right parts. You can't, obviously you can't just like put anything on anything, you know, you have to make sure you're putting the proper armature in each one because they're all different size, different bolts and uh, the, pe the, the, the different... Uh, pounds of thrust so each one does a different thing so you gotta make sure you get the correct parts but when you when you buy the correct parts and you put it all together everything kinda works out and uh, you can save a lot of money it only to replace the whole everything inside the whole thing only cost me hundred and eight dollars after shipping and tax so uh, that's a good deal instead of go, some people would have went out and bought a brand new trolling motor uh, I did that before uh, I didn't diagnose my, an older trolling motor on one of my older bass boats and I wish I would have because I probably would have saved a ton of money, but here we go. One last run, and uh, wow, that thing sounds good. There we go.